Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, guys? It's Attack on Samurai, and welcome to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Showdown Live for you guys. So, today we're going to be doing some NU. Uh, you know, the the other tier I like playing besides OU. <laughs> so, um, I actually have this team that I built. Actually, it, I feel like this is a team that someone, that someone else has used before, but I just made my own version of it. Um... So, before we get started though, uh, make sure you guys have a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, join my, Discord Bushido, join my Discord Bushido gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. Also, follow me on Poke Amino, all those links will be down in the description. So, without further ado, let's get this team builder underway. If you guys want to skip the team builder, just skip it right here. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, my team, I have uh, Dual Dance uh, right on. Uh, Dredigan, Delphox, Comfy, Mega, Mega Glalie, and uh, Rotom. So, I wanted to run Dual Dance Ride On because I feel like, because Dual Dance Ride On is actually a pretty, it's a pretty offensive threat in the tier. There aren't too many mons that really want to stand on this. So, after a plus two in both speed and uh, an attack, uh, this mon is just going to be hitting incredibly hard. It's going to be uh, pretty fast as well. It was not not like going to be incredibly fast. It's going to be like it's going to be able to outspeed some base 80s, I believe. So I might be able to outspeed mons like Pissimian, um, a couple other mons, a couple other mons in that area. But because it's also holding the Eevee Light, it's going to be able to take some hits pretty well, and then just dish back a, uh, just dish back with with the Earthquake or a Stone Edge. So um, so yeah. Um, really not much else to say about Rhydon, uh, to be honest. Um, next we have, uh, Dredigan. So, Dredigan is gonna be my, uh, rocker on the team. Uh, running Glare, Stealth Rock, Taunt, and Dragon Tail. Um, I kinda thought about running Roar instead, because I don't really... Because if I'm in on a Fairy type, I wanna be able to actually, you know, like, force it out. So, I'm thinking I may switch it for Roar, um, eventually. But I think for now, I'll just go with Dragon Tail and just see what happens throughout the games. Um, but basically what, I, what uh, Dredigan's job is on the team is to not only get rocks up, but also glare things that could potentially be faster than Rhydon. And then, you know, ha make it an easier job for Rhydon to set up on them. Um, also, I have Taunt here to prevent other Dredigans from trying to get rocks up on my side. Because my team is actually kind of weak to rocks. Um, so I want to make sure that I can get mine up first. And also, again, prevent my opponent from getting theirs up. And then with Dragon Tail, I want to be able to force things out as well. And get, a little bit of, and get some chip damage as well. Um, I'm also a Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet. So that means that, that if they uh, you know attack me uh, with a physical move, then they're gonna take then 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 they're gonna get chipped down from uh, from all this uh, all this recoil. So uh, yeah, um, I made it max HP max speed. Just just again, like I said, I um I have the bulk to take on some mons, and also I'm able to outspeed opposing Dredigans. So uh, yeah, next we have a uh, Delphox. So Delphox is gonna be the uh, cleaner on the team, and also gonna be another way to uh, kind of help my Dredig to kind of help my ride on in uh, setting up a lot easier so this moveset is fire blast psychic and dazzling Glee. so fire blast is going to be there to deal with the grass types that uh, ride on has a problem with uh psychic is going to be there to kind of break through um break through uh the fighting types in this year like like a uh, hitmonlee um some of the psychic types like garboder and a uh, golbat and then dazzling is going to be there to deal with uh pangoro as well as uh opposing dredigans and also going to be there for um for scrafty as well and then with trick uh, basically, I want to be able to, I want to be able to trap mons. I mean, to kind of like force mons into a move, and then again have it easier for uh, Rylon to set up. So uh, yeah, mostly on mons that can't do too much to, to a Delphox, like for example, like Blastoise, um, just like really passive mons that just allows Rylon to have a better time in setting up. So uh, yeah, next we have Comfy. So this is my first time actually using Comfy, um, but. From what I've been hearing, Comfy's a threat, so it's a very offensive threat. Uh, running uh, Calm Mind, Dr Draining Kiss, Giga Drain, and HP Fire. So with this set, I want to be able to break through. Um, I want to be able to break through the uh, bulky water types, um, like for example, uh, Vaporeon and Blasters. I want to be able to break through those mons, and also just be able to uh, get that nice priority off with Triash and getting up and getting a uh, boosted priority and Draining Kiss on mons that are going to be faster than it naturally. I mean, they're they're usually faster than it naturally and also you know just get the uh get the uh move out first 
Giga Drain is going to be there for the ground types and water types. And then HP Fire is going to be there to deal with uh, Steelix as well as other steel types in the tier and other grass types as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, pretty much going to be it for uh, for Comfy. So now we have we have the boy himself. We have Mega Glalie. So Mega Glalie is going to be my spiker on the team. Running spikes, taunt, double edge, and ice shard. So again, kind of like with Jardigan, I want to be able to uh, get hatters up. And also, again, force my opponent uh, to either switch out. Or again, uh, do it, or or again, like switch out or whatever. So I'm gonna get spikes up, taunt them so they can't do anything. Double edge so I can get a lot of damage off. And again, this is a really nice uh, anti lead as well for mons like Zatu, uh, Palisan, mons like those. And the ice shard is gonna be there for the priority. So we're running the uh, double priority pretty much. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, lately is a very good wall breaker in the tier as well, being able to outspeed a majority of the mons since it's like base 100. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, it's going to hit incredibly hard, too. Um, and then lastly, we have Rotom uh, being my defogger on the team. Uh, so it's going to be also my Volt Switch um, switching as well. It's going to be my Volt Switcher as well. So I'm going to be able to switch out whenever I need to. And also be able to defog away Hazard if they, uh, if they become a problem for my team. Which, again, the rocks are kind of a, kind of an issue. But I want to be able to uh, I'll be able to defog pretty uh, pretty safely. So, um, so yeah. I may end up putting pain split on this team on this set. I'm not too sure, but I think for now, I kind of like what I have. Volt Switch is there for the Switch Initiative. Willow Whips is going to be there to deal with uh, Steelix as well as uh, other mods that want to try and hit Rotom. And then T Bolt is going to be there to again like break through the uh, bulky waters and also deal with um, deal with Golbat as well, which Glaively can also do as well. So uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much going to be it for the team. So without further ado, let's get it. Um. This might that might have been the fastest explanation I've had so far. <laughs> um, probably, probably not though. Um, but anyways, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys, are, I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day. So I'm recording. It is a Tuesday evening. Um, hopefully by the time you guys see this, it'll be like it'll still be the same day and late at night. Um, it probably won't be that late. It'll probably be like what? I'm. Well, actually, I'm not gonna give it. I'm not gonna give a guess, but. Um. For uploads, if you guys have noticed, like again, um, I know I know I'm just like starting to get back into it after my break, um, but uh, oh, there's a there's a Valplum suspect test. What? Why is that my having a su okay? Well, I just well, it looks like it looks like there's a suspect test for Valplum. Don't know why, but all right. Um, my opponent's team gets kind of destroyed by Glalie, but so does so does my team. So I gotta be aware of that. Um, he's definitely gonna lead with this, so I kind of feel like leading Rotom. Rotom actually looks really good against him too. Um, there's a high chance he's just gonna lead with Glalie anyway, so I think I want to lead with Delphox and just get off and just get the uh, the jump on him right away. Um, I think that's what I want to do because I'm pretty sure he'll lead with this. So I'll lead Delphox here. If he leads uh, Steelix, fine. If he's like Comfy, that's fine too. Um, I can Fire Blast here for free, honestly. Uh. Fire Blast will do a decent chunk to the Comfy anyway, so I think I'm fine with just going for it. If you go Slow King, that's fine with me. Um, it's going to do a little bit to that. Uh, very little, actually. He could Scald here, definitely. So, my Scald switching <laughs> is uh, it's looking pretty non-existent. I think I'm fine with Dreddy and getting burned. It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. It goes for Future Side instead, so I'm getting my Rocks up right now. Goes uh, goes Glalie, that's fine with me. Um, I would love to glare this thing because I would make ride on shop so much easier. Um, I really should glare this thing. Mm, I'm gonna try and glare this if I can, but I think he's just gonna get spike up. Yeah, he did spike. That's fine with me. So that's gonna get glare, which is fantastic. Um, he just side does a decent chunk, but nothing crazy. Um. I think I'm fine with just sacking this. I'll just sack this here. Alright, so Lately takes a lot of damage from that, which is fine with me. Very, 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 very good for me. I can bring out my own Lately and just go for the double edge, which I like a lot better because this team does not handle this mod at all. So I'm going to my own Lately. And I'm just gonna go for the double edge right here. It's very free. Like very, very free. He's only switching to Steelix, but I think he's just gonna sack this. Oh wait, hold up, it lived. Okay. Oh, he tried to. I, I'm pretty sure he wanted to explode right there. Um, I thought that would do a lot more than that, but okay. I'll just go for it again. So goodbye, Glalie. Nice, nice, nice and dead, Glalie. <laughs> nice and dead, Glalie. This is actually my first time using this um using this Glalie set. 
um, or using Glalie um, in NU. Um, so Steelix is in here. I could taunt this to prevent rocks and then get up my own spike. But I think I think the smarter play is to actually go into Rotom, maybe, or or just go hard licks. I mean, or go hard uh, Delphox. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I think either going for the double edge for damage and then bringing in Delphox might be the play. Or or I can set up with Rhydon now. Because I think I'll be able to outspeed his team. I think I kind of like that play. I'm going to spike up. Yeah, I'm actually going to spike here. I'll spike here. And then I'm going to try and set up with... Um, I'm going to try and set up right now with the uh, with the Glalie. Or with the Rhydon. So I'll just go for it again. Get a little bit of chip on that Steelix. As he goes for the Heavy Slam, does knock me out. Oh, it actually lived. What? How did that do nothing? <laughs> what? Okay, well, I'm just going to go for it again. Get a little bit more chip on that Steelix. He goes for the Quake there. That's fine with me. Um, I'm definitely going to start setting up right now with the uh, Rhydon, and I think that should be the game. Unless he has... Uh, actually, if he has Giga, this could be a problem. Oh, crap. I didn't, I didn't look at it. If he has Giga, this guy, this could actually be a problem. Uh, yeah, this could be a problem. I didn't, I didn't count, I didn't look at that right. Um, but I think my own Comfy can still pull it out though if I do this. So, yeah, I think my own Comfy should be able to do it. I'll just go right on here and just start setting up. So I'm gonna be, t I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage from this though. Um. I'll go for the um for the rock polish here. Steel steel mice. Uh, I should have just went for the. I should just SD. I really should just SD right there. Um, 358. It's gonna outspeed everything at this point. Um, edge probably won't kill, but it'll be close. I hope it's. I hope it's gonna be close. I should have just SD there. SD was actually the better play instead of doing that. Um. I'll just go for the edge. All right, that didn't do enough. D whip. Why do you? Get oh my god. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, that sucks a lot. All that effort for nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, that sucks. Um, but he's still really weakened though. So I think uh, Rotom plus Delphos can still get me the game. Um. Yeah, I think. I think Quake should do it. I hope Quake does it. I'm gonna go for the Quake and hope it kills. Okay, cool. So Delmize is gone, which is fantastic. Um, if he brings in the, uh, yeah, he did bring it in. That must, it must mean it has Giga Drain. So, so he's gonna go for the Giga Drain. I think the best play I can make is, I can still set up though. That's the thing. I can still set up. Um, maybe. But I definitely don't take a don't take Giga Drain, especially if he's Life Orb. Um, yeah, this is this is not that good. <laughs> um, this is not good. I think again, I could attempt it. I could attempt, but Giga Drain is definitely gonna knock me out. Actually, I might live. I might live it. I'll go for the Quake. Yeah, I wasn't gonna live that. Yeah, I, I had a feeling though. I had a feeling. Um, so I pretty much have to try and set up now with the comfy. So I definitely messed up. Um, playing a little too aggressive right there. Uh, but yeah, I have to set up with comfy now. I probably should just went for went into this first and then defog, but um, I'll just call mine up now. Go Zangoose. Oh, he's toxic orb. Okay, well that makes it even worse. So he's probably gonna facade me. Um, or knock off. Probably knock. I can see a knock happening. Um, I'll just go for the draining kiss anyway. It's not enough, so I'm probably gonna die to facade. Yeah. Okay, that's GG. GG. Pretty much. I definitely, I definitely play a little too aggressive. I think. I definitely did. Um. Cause I can't do anything at this point. 
just going to road him now and just try and T bolt or volt out. Try to volt at least. But if I were him, I'd probably just go licks and just prevent from prevent me from switching. But this does that. You know, it doesn't really matter. I probably should have didn't really have any other play to make. Uh, so Del Del is gonna be taking some damage from here. Goes into King. Uh, I can try and trick this and hope I live Skull. That's it. He's probably uh he's probably AV if I had to guess. I'll just trick this. Yeah, he is AV. So at least I can take the skull. So that's not that bad. Um, let's go road him here and just try and defog. Or actually, I get T bolt. Skull. And just okay. Don't burn. <sighs> uh. Okay. Well. Yeah, I can't do anything now. I pretty much just lost here. Um, I could try and defog, but I gotta try and defog. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. GG. I def. I messed up here. I definitely did. Um, again, I think I played a little too aggressively. I really think I did. Um, I should have played it a little bit smarter, but, you know, we all have, that, that just happens, I guess. That did a lot, actually. Oh, well, I mean, that's because I was in Blaze, but, yeah. Um, I'll just get another game, and we're going to try that again. <laughs> um, you guys probably can tell, but I haven't played in a while. <laughs> like, last time I actually played on Showdown might have been, like, it might have been during my tournament game, or for uh, for S tour. So yeah, it's, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So I'm a little rusty right now, but I'm gonna get back into it. I'm gonna definitely get back into it. Um, now this guy's team definitely looks like it's really weak to ride on. Um, also looks pretty weak to Galili as well. So I gotta try and play around that too. Uh, I like Dredigan as a lead. Dredigan looks really good as a lead, so I think I'm gonna lead with it. I'll probably leave with the uh, Steelix for this. I leave with that. Okay. Um, that's not what I wanted to see. I probably should just like Glalie. Yeah, Glalie Glalie looks like a better lead. Um, he'll probably just go for um. I'll probably just Shadow Ball here, or maybe try and set up on my switching. Um, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna have to try and glare it. Goes for the taunt. Good play. Um. Yeah, this sucks. Uh, I could try and drag and tilt this out. I think I'm gonna have to. But I don't really get anything from doing that. I think I have to go for it. Yeah, I, I can't let you set up on me. So we force out, force out the uh, Miss Mag. Uh, MP Palm comes in, which is pretty cool. I can stay in and keep trying to drag and tilt him out. He doesn't have a fairy resist, so I just keep tailing. Um. I don't want him to knock me, but I don't have any other switching, so I just gotta stand and just keep going for it. He yeah, does take a lot of damage though from uh from my stuff, so that's pretty cool. And my rock and I can uh, I can get rocks up now, so I'm gonna rock up here. Goes U turn. He's taking a lot of damage though for no reason, so I'll take that. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna spin. Yeah, he's gonna try and spin with this. Uh, best play I can make here is to probably go Rotom, so I'll go Rotom here, prevent him from trying to spin. Yeah, you ain't spinning, boy. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm gonna go for the Willow on the uh, Steelix switching. Never mind, he decided to stay in. what do he go for? He went for Skull, that's fine. Uh, fine with that. Let him get chipped down a little bit. Uh, I'll T-Bull here now. Goes Licks now, that's fine. I'll just Willow this again. Pretty much, uh, pretty much the best play for me is to try and Willow. But he goes into that now. Uh, that's fine. Uh, pretty sure you're like AV or something. Uh, let's see. Really, the biggest threat? Okay, I actually don't outspeed the Ambi Pump, so I gotta I gotta slow that thing down. But I definitely outspeed the Miss Mag, so I got to, I gotta lower that speed. So I gotta I probably should have went for the glare instead of actually going for rocks right there. Um, I'll vote right here. Get a little bit of chip on that. And he's probably gonna go for knockoff, if anything. So I'm fine with going into going in a going back in a drug again. Does go for the knock. Does crit me, which is really unfortunate, but that's okay. It's not that bad. At least my rocks are up, which is all I care about. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm I feel like I outspeed this. Cause usually these don't run that much speed investment. But do I want to risk that? No, it's not worth it. 
Um, it's definitely not worth it. But is it though? You're definitely AV. Like that's a fact, especially because of how mu how little Volt Switch did. I want to go ride on so bad, but it's it's definitely not the play. I have to I have to go Gladly here. I'm going Gladly, and I have to hope that Double Edge kills. It might actually. Hopefully it does. Let me see. Come on. Oh, are you serious? Come on. No. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, Silix comes in now. Um, can use lefties too. I think the best play is to go. I could taunt this, or I could just go on the Delphox right away. I think taunting is probably the best thing. I can't let him get rocks up here. Does he attack? Now he goes for that. That's fine. Um, I was double edge here. Get some chip on that. That's some good chip too. Some very nice chip. Uh, and Glalie is just eating. How is Glalie eating a heavy slam from a Steelix? What the heck? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Okay, well, I'll take that though. Um, Alright. So, I'm definitely going back into, I'm going back into this. And on his switching into, uh, into this, uh, I'm probably just going to go back into Rotom. I'm pretty sure he doesn't stay in here. He definitely goes into, um, he definitely goes into the, uh, into the Blast Toys. So, I'll go Rotom here. There's no way you stay in. Bro, are you serious? Did he really just do that? Okay, this guy, I, I don't know why he did that. Um, but, okay. I thought he'd switch, but I guess not. Well, actually, this is gonna die, so it probably made more sense for him to do that. But now I look like a fool. <laughs> I definitely overpredicted right there. Um, well, the best play I can make is just Willow, so I'll just Willow here. Let him get burned. He will get rocks up here, which does suck. Oh, he went for Toxic. That's fine too. Um, so now he's pretty much like, like pretty much done. Um, if I had Hex, I'd definitely do it here. I really want to try and set up right now. I think I have to go for it. I'm going to I'm gonna go for it here. I'm going right on now. I'm going to try and set up here. Those rocks. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That's all I care about. Um, I'm setting up right now. Did you go for Toxic? He missed. Alright, this game. That's game. Oh, that's definitely game. Actually, no, no, no. I should have went for it twice, but I'll live Knock. He does Toxic, but he can't really do much about that, so... I'll quake here, knock out the Steelix, and he's pretty much forced to go into the, uh, go into something to take this, but yeah, this is, this is looking like game now, so, my boy Rhydon finally got it, my boy Rhydon finally got that sweep, that nice and powerful sweep, ooh, clean, ooh, clean, uh, but, that's definitely gonna be a dead, um, a dead, um, dead blast was, yeah, um, 18, yeah, this is looking like game. Ambipom does outspeed, so he can't knock me right here, but knock won't do enough, or knock won't kill. Oh, and he's going to fake out. Uh, fake out does 20, 25. Oh, crap. Sorry about that. Notification came up. Um, even if he does that, I'll be fine. Even if he fakes, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, because again, Delphox just wins anyway, so I'll just, um... I feel like he'll go into Miss Mag, maybe, but there's no point in making that play. I'll just quick here. Yeah, I had a feeling he'd do it, but that's fine. Just edge here. As long as I land, I'm set. And he can't defog or anything, so yeah, right on really did that thing. Yeah, that's fine. Um, again, he's pretty much in range for Delphox to just to just kind of clean up. So I'll just go Delphox now. Goes Vile Plume. Yeah, he can't do much about that. Uh, Valplume should, uh, I mean, Delphox should finish this. As long as I land. Yeah, it's game. GG. Yo, right on with the, right on with the, ooh, right on was, was kind of clean this game. Yo, right on was kind of clean. Let's get it. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Ooh. All right. I like this team a lot. This team's tough. I'll get another game. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, have you guys seen, have you, did you guys see, uh, the news that came out for E3? Bro, there was so much stuff. Um, actually, today was the, um, 
was the Nintendo Direct, and at the Direct, uh, they showed off so much stuff, uh, so many games. Uh, some games I weren't, I wasn't really interested in, but uh, definitely they showed a lot of Smash stuff, and they showed two new characters. Uh, one I didn't really care about, but the other, bro, the other, everybody was so hyped about it. But Banjo and Kazooie got confirmed for Smash. Yo, a lot like I actually saw it in a leak that you know they were gonna be a, that Banjo was gonna be a Banjo Kazooie and a Dragon Quest and the, and the uh, Dragon Quest character was gonna be like shown off. But I didn't think that was gonna happen. I didn't think that was real. But yo, I'll give him a half fun. Um, but but yo. They really did it. They really, they really dropped Banjo Kazooie and and that Dragon Quest character. Even though, like I said, I didn't care about the Dragon Quest character. Um, but yeah. Um, and then they also showed a little bit of uh, some Sword and Shield stuff. There was like a a live, not live, um, treehouse for it. But the treehouse wasn't really that interesting. They didn't really show anything like new. Um, well, I mean, they showed the wild area, which was pretty cool. But that was really it. Um, which I kind of figured they would do. Anyways, my opponent's team is looking pretty weak to Glalie. And I think Rydon might be able to do some work too. I just got to make sure that this gets weakened. Um, because this could end up, because this could soft speed me. So I got to weaken this. Um, but yeah, I like Glalie as a lead too. Glalie looks really good as a lead. Glalie looks good as a lead and so does Rotom. Um, I might lead Rotom, but... No, nah, I actually don't like Rotom as a lead. I'll just lead Dreadigan. Dreadigan is pretty much the safest lead. It covers everything for the most part. Led the uh, led with the Mesprit, so this is probably his rocker. Actually, no, this this is his rocker. Um, I don't think this has like it has beam. I know it has beam or it gets beam. Um, but I think I'm fine with just rocking here. He'll probably just like, oh, oh, okay, all right. Well, that's actually really cool. That's actually very cool. Um, so he's gonna get his rocks up right now. I think I'm just gonna go into Glalie. You know I had that. <laughs> All right, well I'm just gonna go for the for the double edge. It's pretty free here. Or I could spike actually, cause he's not gonna stay in. I'll just spike here. Yeah, goes blast, so that's fine. I probably should just more for the double edge, but again, like I said, it didn't really matter too much. And all he's just gonna spin anyway. We went for a toxic good play. Um, I'll just t-ball here for free. T-Ball hits everything for a lot anyway. Goes in center roar. So it's definitely AV. Um, I'll vault right here. Vault's pretty free. Catches everything as well. Um, so yeah, on the vault. Um, let's see. That actually did a lot. This is offensive. This is definitely offensive. But it has some like HP investment. He'll knock right here. Um, I'm fine with dreading and getting knocked off. I don't really care about that too much. Uh, yeah, he does knock. Um, are you like Papa Berry? You are. Okay, that's fine. Um, rocks are still fine though. Or I could glare too. Let's see. Um, actually, wait, never mind. I'll speed you. I'm fine. Let's rock up here. Because Blastoise. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna try and spin. Uh, definitely can't let him spin here. He'll scald if anything, but he does convert humor for the toxic again. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this is gonna drop now, so I can just T-Bolt here for free. Alright, so he lets his Rotom let his Blastoise take the damage. Uh, let's see. 18. I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna Volt here. I think he's gonna switch. Yeah, exactly. So, Vileplume's gonna come in now, take that Volt switch. Now I can go back into Glalie and I can spike up again. Or I could go into ride on and no, actually that that's that's so dumb. Why would I do that? <laughs> um, but ride on is starting to look more threatening now to him. So especially because this is starting to get weakened. But Glalie looks really good here, and this is definitely gonna drop to uh to double edge. So he doesn't have a Glalie switching at all. Glalie is so broken in this gen. What I mean not gen in this uh in this tier. What the heck? This mod should have got. <laughs> This one has just taken lives. There's, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a suspect test for Glalie soon. I'm, I'm almost like certain there's going to be one coming up for this mon. This mon is too strong. This mon is actually too strong. That's going to drop. Yeah, this, this one is too strong. Glalie, Glalie is ridiculous. Yo, this mon is ridiculous. What the heck? Oh my god, yo. 
Yo, it's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a ride on game. I mean, ride on ride on has moment though. Ride on definitely has a moment, but still, still it's supposed to be ride on team, not lately team. <laughs> but yeah, this mod is this mod is actually really good. This mod is very good. Um. I'm almost certain we're gonna we're gonna see a suspect test for Glalie right after Vileplume. I don't know why there's a Vileplume suspect test. Like Vileplume doesn't even seem that good right now, if anything. Or okay, okay, actually, I'm not gonna say it doesn't seem that good. It's a really good check to to a Heliolisk as well as like some other mods. But like, really, why is it getting suspect tested? <laughs> like, seriously, this mod needs to get suspect tested. This mod's actually really strong. Like Glalie, Glalie is just kicking off kills left and right, but. Hopefully I get a game soon. Um, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah. Um, there was some other stuff about E3 that happened. Oh yeah. So they. So for Xbox's. or Yeah for Xbox's um, direct. Or not direct. For their uh, for their live stream. Or for their for their uh, show or whatever. Um, they had a lot of new games too. That they were showing off. And they also showed off. Uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, which a lot of people were expecting and cyberpunk looks really good like I may I might end up I might get an Xbox because of that game <laughs> that game looks so clean um but they show like another trailer and it showed like the male character for the game um with his like partner or whatever and it looks like they had like some kind of like they were in some kind of like crime scene or something like that um but at the end of it they showed the male character with Keanu Reeves, and Keanu Reeves came out of nowhere, bruh. Like, yo. <laughs> Keanu Reeves might have been the best part of that, um, of that E3 show for, uh, for Xbox. That was so, that was so unexpected. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely, definitely was not expecting Keanu Reeves to just come out of nowhere. And just be like, check this out. That was so, that was so cool, man. That was really cool. Um, anyways, my opponent's team does not like Glalie, like almost every other team in this tier. Um, Dreadigan also looks good too as a lead. I might end up leading it. It looks very good as a lead. Um, if I were him, I'd probably leave with the Vivalon and try and get the, um, try and put things to sleep. So we'll probably do that. Which means, I think Glalie's probably the best lead then. So I'll lead Glalie. If he leads this, he could even lead Typhlosion. Okay, now he lead with the Hunt, so that's fine. Um... Excuse me, I'm pretty sure he's going to try and go for the Shell Smash. I'm just going to taunt it so he can't do that. So I'm pretty sure this is Shell Smash Haunt, um, Haunt Hill. So, preventing that from, from preventing that thing from trying to set up would be really, really good for me. Like, it's, it's obvious, it's, it's obvious that this is, uh, this is going to be set up Haunt Hill. I mean, Shell Smashing Haunt Hill. Um, Haunt Hill is another mod you don't really see at all. Um, might end up trying that mod out maybe at some point like let me know in the comments below if you guys think Huntel is good because i may end up making a team around that mon it, lo it looks it looks kind of cool it's like one of those it's one of those gen 3 mons that people forget about but when they look at it they're just like oh that mon's cool i wish it did something more <laughs> um but seriously it has a really nice design um my opponent's taking a while to make his play though uh but toss my play i have no regrets making this play because I know he's gonna try and salt. He's gonna try and shell smash. That's what they all do, <laughs> or all variants of this mod. Gorbis even Huntil. Pretty sure Clamp Clamperl does the same thing. You're not getting the shell. You're not getting your shell smash off. Yeah. Oh, rain dance. That's that's even better. Um. So you can't do any of that. I'm just gonna spike here for free. Let's see what he does. Goes for the waterfall. Waterfall does a. Ooh, that actually did a decent chunk. Um. I'm fine with just going for the. Do I want to go for the double edge here? Uh, actually, I'm going to keep this alive. I'm going to go in the Dread again. And I'm actually going to force this Mon out. If possible, let's see. Uh, he has one more turn left, right? Oh no, this was the last turn. Uh, I'm going to glare this thing. Yeah, so he can't, uh, can't do anything. And I'm going to start getting rocks up here. Um, getting rocks up right now. That's for the Ice Fang. Ice Fang doesn't do that much. Uh, no freezes, thankfully. Thankfully. Um. Can I take another one? I doubt it. I feel like I could, though. Um. I'm gonna drag until. Ah, uh, that's really unfortunate for my opponent. So that's gonna die. And Vivlon comes in, which is even better for me. 
Um, he's gonna try and put this to sleep, which I'm fine with. I have the Glalie in the back to just ice shard this thing. So, I'm fine with just going for the Glare right now and just, uh, sacking this. Like, Dreadigan did everything I needed to do. So, he lets me, uh, just drop to that. Um. Oh, Delphox wins. I just realized that. Delphox actually wins here. For the most part. But also, so does Glalie. So, I'll go into Glalie right now. And, uh, sorry about that. That was my phone going off. Um, again, like I said, Double Edge looks really, looks really good, uh, right here, so I think I'll just go for it. Alright, so goodbye Vivalon. That's gonna be a dead Vivalon right there. He'll go into this if it's, uh, well, it's obviously gonna be Choice Scarf. He'll go into the Braviary right now, if anything. And if not, then, well, I think, uh, I think Rhydon kind of cleans this game too, doesn't it? Um, I feel bad for my opponent. He got, he kind of got, uh, got screwed over. Uh, Del uh, Typhlosion comes in here. Probably go for the fire move or something. So, mm, he'll probably fire blast here if anything. He can't eruption. Eruption won't do that much. He could even go for the HP grass on my ride on switching. Um, let's see. I definitely need to keep this alive for the, uh, for the Braviary. So, I think I'm fine with risking ride on here and just going into it. If he goes for the HP grass, great play. Burn up. Okay, that did so much damage. Whoa. Yo, why'd that do so much? Jesus. <laughs> that must be... Okay, this has to be specs then. This is probably specs. Um, I'll just go for the... Um, I'll just rock... I'll just rock polish here. Alright, so cool. I outspeed this whole team now. Um, even though I don't take a hit from Mudsteel. Alright, I barely take a hit from that Mon. Um. Also, Bravery definitely outspeeds me. That's a fact. That Mon goes to, like, base 400, I think, if it's Choice Scarf. So, uh, yeah. Um, again, if, if Rhydon doesn't take it out, then, uh, then this will. Or, uh, or Glalie. So he goes Mudsteel, that's fine with me. Um, I think I'm gonna SD first, cause I think I might take an Earthquake. I might take one. Hopefully I take one. Oh, no, I don't take one. I should've just went for the Quake then. So I messed up right there. Um, but Glalie definitely knocks this out. I'm almost certain it will. Or I could sit up with Comfy right now, but I'm pretty sure this has, like, Heavy Slam or whatever. Um, I'm kinda forced to go into Glalie here. I may end up losing now. Oh, I messed up there. I should've just quaked. Um... I'm gonna go into Rotom, and I have to burn this thing. I have to burn this thing first, just to make sure that I can actually take a Quake decently well. Or whatever he does. Or, like, a Heavy Slam, too. So he goes for the Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam doesn't do that much, but he has worn down, which is all I care about. So now what I can do here is just go into, um... I could go comfy now and actually start setting up. But I'm actually gonna have to do that. I'll go comfy here. See how much this heavy slam does. But he goes incinerate, that's fine. Um actually no, that's not fine. That's actually the opposite of what I wanted to see. Um uh, This sucks a lot. But I think all I can do is just calm mind up. I just have to calm mind up at this point. And hope that he's not like something offensive i'm pretty sure he is that did so much damage um and i'm pretty sure i don't even take another one so i'm probably gonna have to sack something now i'm probably gonna have to sack hmm. delphox can still clean this though i just need this weekend i'll just go for the draining kiss it didn't even kill this is really unfortunate. And he was all Guaf Berry, so... It's even worse. Okay. Yeah, this just got very... This this just became a problem already. <laughs> okay. Um... I have to go Rotom here. He's gonna go back into the into the Mud Steel. So... He should go into Mud Steel, but he might not. He might just stay in here. He did. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no! Okay, I lived, though. I lived, though. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, I have to vote here. But he should switch out though, which I'm pretty sure he will. I'm pretty sure he'll switch out, but there's no point. He's gonna drop anyway. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I think Delphox just did it. I think. 
And if not, then I think Glalie just di just does it here. So I think Ice Shard might knock that out. Might knock out the Typhlosion at the range it's at. Because it'll take like 25. So I'll be at 40. Oh, no. That's not enough. Ugh, I have to Psychic then. Yeah, I have to Psychic. Actually, no. I should have just went hard Glalie. I messed up. Yeah, I messed up here. Um, Unless this is actually AV. If this is AV, then I definitely lose. Well, I don't I want to say I, I definitely lose, but like it's... It's pretty bad. Also, this is definitely choice specs, and this has to be choice scarf. So goes Mudsdale. Yeah, I think this is A V. I think this is actually A V uh Mudsdale. So I'll sack Rotom here. I'll just sack it here. I can't do much else with this. Um I really wish I had hate I really wish I had a hex. I really, really wish I had hex. Yeah, I'll just let him uh, knock me out here. Um, cause I think double edge should be enough now, and I think psychic, psychic plus ice shard should do it. So, um, I think I think that's pretty much game now. See, so yeah, I'll just willow here, let him knock me out, and uh, yeah. All right, cool, cool. I think um, I think lately definitely knocks this out. So I can just double edge here, and that should be the game. Or it'll, it'll be like closer now. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be dead. Cool. Um. Let's see, he'll definitely go into Typhlosion right now. Um, I'm probably going to have to go hard Delphox here. Depending on what he does. Yeah, he does go into the, into the Typhlosion. 26. I'll go, Ty I'll go Delphox here. Because I should take whatever move you go for anyway. I'm just going to do so much. Ooh, okay. That's game. That's game. That's definitely game. Uh, I think I, I'm just gonna psychic twice. I think that's fine. Or should I just fire a blast here? Wait, well, he does get stab off this. I'll just, I'll just fire a blast here. Okay. Wait. Oh no! no! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, I didn't I didn't know that's how that worked. Okay. Um. Oh god. Okay, that that was so scary. So wait, hold up. So burn up doesn't. How does this work? I'm so confused. How does this move work? Okay, let me. What? How does this move work? DT. Burn up. Wait, how does that? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Like this, this actually scared me. I'm like, yo, how? How did this? How do you? How do you check this move? Let me, let me just look at this move real quick. Or how do you do the? Hold up. How do you how do you check this move? Isn't it like data or like DT burn up or something like that? Hold up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so users must be fire. Thaw's user. No priority. Okay, it's a fire move, but it doesn't do anything. So if I switch out, does this still hit me? Oh. Okay. All right. So, I definitely lived up. I definitely lived this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Dope. <laughs> Dope move. Um. But yeah, I just ice shard here, and that should be the game. All right. Cool. That was. That was. He wasn't even choice scarf. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I was so scared for nothing. <laughs> GG. That was that was fun. That was fun. That was very fun. Um, man, I miss Showdown so much. I can't wait to get to get back into uh, to do more uh, more lives. Oh, good game. Oh, you okay? Good game. But yeah, that that game was that game was. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that game was insane. You don't have priority unless you have quick attack, but you you definitely not have priority. No, it's not over boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's over because you don't have any priority. Unless you have a priority move I don't know about, but I'm pretty sure you don't. So yeah. Um, but I think this is pretty much yeah, this is pretty much it. So um, 
I want to do a little bit more. Uh, I think, I think that's gonna be it. That that game definitely had me in my. <laughs> that game definitely scared me. Um, if you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure you guys have a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord, Bushido Gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. Um, again, I'm really, really trying to get to 100 subs before the or 100 subs or more before the summer ends. So really really want you guys to try and get me there that would be that would be fantastic um just again keep checking out my channel um i always do showdown lives i'm always doing let's plays all that stuff just uh always be on the lookout on the channel you know just so uh, just check me out if you're new um but yeah um i'll see you guys in the next showdown live uh take care hope you all have a good one and uh peace out oh shit i made this egg